Now that we know how to make animations, let's look at all the export options. The default RIV format is the .riv file. With this file format, you'll be able to use your animations and interactivities on web pages or applications. All this is possible thanks to our runtimes. For example, let's say you're working on a website using the JavaScript runtime or an app via the Flutter runtime. You can find a list of all of our runtimes on our website. To get an RIV file, we'll need to use this menu here and then go into the download section and you can see right here we have the .riv. Once you click on that option, you'll notice that it downloads and is ready to use. Another option that we have is the backup format, which is a .rev. Both file formats are very similar. The main difference is that the backup or .rav stores a lot more information, such as the position of your states on your state machine graph. This one is the one that you should use as a backup or if you want to send the file to someone else. The next export option are the share links. Generating a share link gives us a few options. The first option allows us to share our animations with someone outside of Rive. You can also use the various links and codes to get your project running on websites and social media platforms. We also give you the option to share your file to the community. Once you click the option, you'll be brought to the publication panel where you can configure your post. Lastly, we give you the option to export your animations as a video file, sequence of images, or an animated GIF. You'll notice though, that right now, the option is actually grayed out or disabled. And that's because we need to be in animate mode to use it. But now that we're in animate mode, when we go back up to the option, you can see that add to cloud renderer reappears. Once the panel opens, we can configure our export. There's a number of things we can do, like change the name, or if we have multiple animations, we can use this drop down to select which one we want to export. Under this, we can change the file format from H.264 to PNG sequence, GIF, and WebM. We can also change things like the frame rate or the size. We can also change the duration, or we have this option that's 1x, 2x, 3x. And let's say, for example, we selected 2x, we'd be exporting the animation twice, so it would play twice. Or if we did it three times, the animation would play three times. Once we have everything configured, we can use the start button to begin the export process. If we've got other things to do, we don't have to wait for this to finish. We can actually click out and we'll be notified when the export is complete. You can see that up here, we have a little indicator letting us know that our export's finished. When our export's finished, we can go to this view in cloud renderer button, open that up, and you'll see that our animation is done. Now all we need to do is either use this button or the download button to actually download our file. And you can do this with as many animations as you want. You can export as many as you want and batch download them as well.